This just in Nez Nation, live breaking news. The House has just walked over articles of impeachment for Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas. And I got to show you this. This is such a uh, inspiring video. I mean, this girl's got spunk. MTG, Mar Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Green blasting uh, Secretary uh, Mayorkas, who's uh, born in Cuba. And uh, watch what she says in today's committee where he was facing fire for the disaster that is our border security. Check this out. General lady from Georgia for five minutes of questioning. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mayorkas, we do not have a country without a secure border. And we cannot have a safe country. We cannot protect our own democracy without protecting our elections. That is a fact. The open border is the number one issue across America in poll after poll. And that is exactly why this committee impeached you. Mr. Secretary, the Oversight Project released a bombshell report last night on your connection to the dark money NGO industrial complex of illegal immigration. I know you saw this from one of my colleagues just earlier. They found flyers throughout the Resource Center Matamoros refugee camp in Mexico telling illegal aliens, reminder to vote for President Biden when you are in the United States, we need another four years of his term to stay open. Eyewitnesses saw the flyers also being handed out to migrants who were using RCM for assistance in coming to the United States. In an audio recording, the founder of RCM, Gabby Zavala, by the way, we maybe should subpoena her to, to the committee, agreed that they need to help as many people as possible before President Trump gets reelected. RCM is an operation that houses functions for the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society, which helps migrants enter the United States, and you're familiar with their work. We know that you served as a former board member, excuse me, former board member of this group that funds illegal immigration. And they're very proud of you, Mr. Secretary. They congratulated you on your nomination. You worked as a board member of an NGO that is working in conjunction with other NGOs, which are not only financing the invasion of the country, but also telling illegal aliens to vote in the United States elections. They are telling illegal aliens, non-citizens, to come vote for Joe Biden. That's your boss. This is corruption at the deepest level. As a matter of fact, I would call it treason. It's treason because these people have declared war on our citizens by raping our women, our children, and murdering people. Like Lakin Riley, you're familiar with her, right? Congressman, our heart breaks. Are you familiar with Lakin Riley? Uh, uh, I am uh, familiar with the case. That you should have deported her so that she could be alive today. Her parents would have appreciated that. And also Kayla Hamilton, who was brutally raped and murdered by a cartel member. Her mother came and spoke to us. She didn't deport him either. You let him in the country. You, Mr. Secretary, have allowed over 10 million illegals, probably higher than that, could be closer to 15 million, we don't know, to invade our country. You've allowed the cartels to make billions and billions. As a matter of fact, you're probably the best business partner they could ever have. They make all this money in human trafficking and drug trafficking at our border. You've allowed approximately 300 Americans to be murdered every single day from fentanyl that comes across our border. And now you're aiding NGOs to steal our elections through your budget. I demand proof of citizenships in our elections, and that is something every single member of Congress should care about. We don't need illegal aliens voting in our elections. We're supposed to be here talking about your budget, but we're talking about how money is being used to make sure people come into our country are able to get a social security number in which they can register to vote. And on that note, Mr. Mayorkas, I demand that Chuck Schumer holds your impeachment trial in the Senate. 
because that's exactly what we should be focused on right now. I know what some of you guys might be thinking right now. Nez, who cares? Nothing's going to happen. So what if they uh, walk down articles of impeachment over to the Senate? The Senate's controlled by Chuck Schumer and the left. It's just going to be a moot cause. They're not going to hold this to a trial or anything like that. 99% for sure that's not going to happen, which is the reason I'm doing this video. Because I'm going to show you another video where this guy, Mayorkas, it's just, it's almost like, how is this not an SNL parody? How is this not an SNL skit? It's lampoon. It's parody. It can't be real. Where he literally talks about how the border is more secure. He says these things. I'm going to sh just stick around. You, you got to see this video. It's a beautiful montage, brilliantly done, uh, as well as Senator Ted Cruz talking about uh, the hypocrisy, where he literally states verbatim, that the border is more secure than it ever has been. You heard what MTG said, and, and she's absolutely right. The number is probably way higher. Over, over 10 million illegal aliens over the past four years, most of them happening this consequential election year. I wonder why. Mayorkas in cahoots with NGOs, in cahoots, sending flyers to Mexico saying, come on over. As long as you vote Biden, this thing's going to be open for days. You've got viral video after viral video. You've got senator after senator. You've got people like Elon Musk, Dr. Phil, other people going down to the border themselves, RFK Jr., going down to the border themselves and physically seeing for themselves the absolute chaos. There was a special done on 60 Minutes where there's even a passage that's well known by not people looking for asylum, people looking for the American dream, hoping for the promised land. Chinese military aged men, foreigners, South American cartel gang member, military aged men from Venezuela, Honduras, Ecuador, and the like, piling in and the border patrol is being told, let them come in by Mayorkas and this administration. Watch this. This video is courtesy of the Daily, Daily Caller. I, I just absolutely love this. It's just gonna take a second, watch this. I have never minimized the challenge that the Southern border presents. I didn't minimize it when I served as a federal prosecutor for 12 years from 1989 through 2001. We heard the sheriff say it, the governor say it, and the migrants I spoke to say it. They are coming across because they believe they will be welcomed under the Biden administration. Uh, the border is closed, the border is secure. We are expelling uh, families. We are expelling single adults under um, the CDC's authority under Title 42 of the United States Code because we are in the midst of a pandemic and that is a public health uh, imperative. I want to be very clear. Our borders are not open. My Republican colleagues claim that the border is open. Is the border open, Mr. Secretary? No, it is not. Do you believe that right now there's a crisis at the border? I think that the, uh, um, the answer is no. Uh, I think there is a challenge at the border that we are managing, and we have our resources dedicated to, to managing it. The, I mean, look at, I mean, uh, let me tell you something, Nez Nation. I know an LAD when I see one. An LAD is a lion-ass dog. This dude right here is, is just as good, maybe not as proficient as the ninja triple black belt Kami Kamala Harris, but boy, he is just... A slimy weasel LAD, you lion ass dog. Here's the last video I want to share with you. Um, this is an amazing video by Senator Ted Cruz talking about Mayorkas and the border. Listen to this. This is very powerful. Every week, we see another horrific crime committed by criminal illegal aliens that Joe Biden and Alejandro Mayorkas continue to release. Lake and Riley, beautiful 22-year-old woman in Georgia, a nursing student, just out for a jog. Like so many other women are out for a jog today, believing they live in a country where their safety will be protected, and it should have been. But Joe Biden and Alejandro Mayorkas deliberately defied the law. They apprehended her killer. 
when he came illegally into this country. He was in El Paso. Had Joe Biden and Alejandro Mayorkas simply followed the law, they would have put him on a plane and flown him back to Venezuela, and Lincoln Riley would still be alive. But they didn't. They defied the law. They let him go. And he went to New York City, another sanctuary city, where he was apprehended again, this time for endangering the safety of a child. If New York City had simply followed the law, if they'd put him in jail, Lake and Riley would still be alive. But again, New York City let him go, and this murderer came down to Georgia and beat Lake and Riley to death with a brick. That is so disturbing. I can't even imagine as a father who has a daughter who's 10, almost 11. I can't imagine what Lake and Riley's father their parents, their family. Imagine every Christmas is over. Every holiday is over. Every birthday is just a tragedy of tears. There isn't a holiday they will ever face uh, that will ever uh, come by that they won't be absolutely heartbroken in calamitous fashion. And all Mayorkas had to do, all Biden had to do, Instead of thinking about themselves, instead of thinking about stealing the election, stealing votes, and pumping and ballooning up their base illegally, all they had to do was follow the law. Yeah, nothing's going to happen with these articles of impeachment. You're absolutely right. But the reason that I'm creating this video, and you need to share the absolute CRAP out of this video, is because people need to see what they're doing. People need to understand. Mainstream media is not talking about this. You saw Raditz uh, from ABC and all these mainstream media, state media propagandists. They're just going to be supporting Mallorca. They're going to they're supporting their people. Why? Because they hate Trump. Why? Because they hate America. Really, if you really want to know the truth, they hate America. It's obvious they hate America. How could you be for America and condone this? How could you look Lake and Riley's father? in the eyes and say, yeah, we're doing right by you. We're doing right by your daughter. We're doing right by this country. No, you're not. You should all be ashamed of yourselves and you should all be put behind bars. And if this country had any balls, Mayorkas would be put in a box and sent back to Bolivia. I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I might edit that. I just get so upset. I get so angry because I have a wife who I love more than anything. I have a family that I love more than anything. I've got a daughter. I've got a son who's got an e-bike. I'm not proud about this. He's got an e-bike. What if he's riding his bike? What if my daughter wants to go for a jog? My wife likes to take my dog Blue out for walks in the morning. And God forbid some criminal illegal alien who should have been deported but circumvented the law, God forbid, knock on wood, does something. It could happen. Lake and Riley is you. Lake and Riley is me. It's our families, regular, everyday, hardworking American patriots who pay their taxes on time, who pay their bills, who contribute to society, who are born and raised here, who work hard, who love America. These people don't love America. This is insanity. Share the CRAP out of this video. This needs to be shared over and over and over again because people have no clue because state media is not showing this. And tap that thumbs up. You may think I'm crazy. Oh, why does he always ask for taps up? You know why I always ask for taps up? Because that's how the algorithm works. When you tap the thumbs up, it sends a signal to the system. Oh, we should push this out to more people who've not seen this video. We need to get the word out there. This is the best way to do it. Not violence, not civil war. Not getting out the guns and shooting each other up. No. Awareness, intelligence, critical thinking, critical discernment. That's why I feel so inflamed with purpose by this channel. This is the most important job I've ever had. I've said this many, many times. I'm not looking for a pat on the back. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do this. I have businesses. I have a family. I've got a life. I could be comfortable. But I love my country. I'm sick and tired of what's happening to it. And if you are too, tap the thumbs up and share it out. I want to hear from you guys in this nation. I pass this off to you. What do you think of the articles of impeachment? Is there any chance that this could actually go through Chuck Schumer's Senate and actually see a trial and see any kind of light of day? Probably not, but I'd love to hear from you. What do you think of, is this overhype? Is the border secure? 
um i would love to hear from you let me know in the comments by the way we have a brand new discord server for members consider becoming a member uh, i try to answer all comments as best as i can but there's just too many it's physically impossible so uh, becoming a member you get top priority badges discord server uh, which is exclusive for members where i'm in that discord server too we can hang out chat and talk and interact in ways you really can't in other uh, uh mediums um in the pinned comment, become a Nez Nation Insider is our free email newsletter. It's free. So click on that link, become a free uh, Nez Nation Insider, and you get all the best current events, top stories, live breaking news that mainstream media will cover right to your inbox so you never miss out. It's your best way to stay in the know. Check out these videos coming up on the screen right now. And as always, Nez Nation, God bless you and your families, and God bless America. I'll see you soon.